crate weighs 101 kilonewtons. The hydraulic cylinder at A has a maximum load of 300 kilonewtons. Will this maximum load be exceeded with a 101 kilonewton crate? The first thing you need to realize is that you're going to need to draw the free body diagram of just the boom. O is a pin, so you have OX and OY in the two Cartesian coordinate directions, and you have your 101 kilonewton weight from the crate. A is not equal to 300 kilonewtons. 300 kilonewtons is the maximum load that we can have. What we want to know is, is this, this variable, A, going to be bigger than 300 or less than 300? If it's bigger than 300, it broke. If it's less than 300, your crane is okay. So, that's what we want to know. And your distances and your free body diagram is complete. Now we can write our equations of equilibrium. Your sum of the forces in x is equal to zero, your sum of the forces in y is equal to zero, but actually all we want to know is what is a? We don't have to solve for ox and oy. If we take the sum of the moments about o, we will have an equ one equation in a and a bunch of numbers. So let's do that. To do to find the sum of the moments about O, we need to take A and break it into its directions. We're given A as being a, along the hydraulic cylinder, which has a rise of 2.4 meters for its run of 1.2 meters. So the slope is going to be essentially 2 over 1. The vector A is going to be 1 over the square root of 5 in the i direction and 2 over the square root of 5 in the j direction multiplied by its magnitude. That's important because when we start to take the sum of the moments about O, we have essentially the a y component, which is 2 over the square root of 5 times the magnitude of a, acting at a distance of 3 meters away. Its line of action is 3, three meters away from point O. So the moment caused by this force at that distance is 2 over the square root of 5 times 3a, and that tends to spin counterclockwise. The x component of a is at a line of action 1.4 meters away from point O. So this moment at O due to the ax component will be 1 over the square root of 5 times 1.4a. That will tend to spin clockwise. The only other moment we have is the 101 kilonewtons, which acts at a perpendicular distance of 7 meters and tends to spin also clockwise. So our sum of the moments at O is 6 over the square root of 5a minus 1.4 over the square root of 5a minus 101 times 7 equals 0. That gives you a is 343.67 kilonewtons. Well, our hydraulic cylinder had a maximum useful load of 300 kilonewtons. That means it broke. So the answer to the question is yes. The useful, the maximum load will be exceeded by 43.7 kilonewtons.